Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? Welcome back to another live on the channel. Tonight, we have some more transfer news to discuss um, around Leicester City, of course. Obviously, the main link is Callum Doyle. Just quickly, you'll see that James Trafford is in the picture on the thumbnail. Looks like he's going to burn. They got announced about 20 minutes ago. So, thank you very much, Steve, for Richard Ryan on that one. But, yeah, today we're going to be going through the Callum Doyle potential transfer and also, importantly, Enzo Maresca's first press conference as Leicester returns back to um, first team training today ahead of the season. Obviously, the game against Northampton is only, I think it's about 12 days away. So, um, yeah, preparations are beginning. But, yeah, let's jump into the chat, as always. Um, not so much to discuss tonight, but still some interesting ones. And I think Callum Doyle could be a, a very interesting signing. So, yeah, we will get into that in just a minute. Jerry, first man in here tonight. I do need to change the intro. I was thinking that, to be fair. Um so yeah, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna see if I can do that. Hello, Renny mate. Hope you're doing it all right yourself. Um, yeah, James Trafford to Burnley. So yeah, we are gonna ignore the whole thing about James Trafford. I didn't have time to change him on the thumbnail. So um, yeah, maybe we go for Zach Stefan instead. But he, but even so, obviously he's going to Burnley for about twenty million, which is far too steep for Leicester anyway. But yeah, I think the interest in in himself um, for me. Tells you a lot about the fact that Leicester are probably going to want to sign a new goalkeeper. So, um, yeah, maybe we go back to the Zach Stefan, which, to be fair, I, I would have taken Zach Stefan or, or um, what, what I forgot his name, uh, James James Trafford, anyway. Who, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know, it's 20 million in it. It's like, on, on a goalkeeper, I don't think Leicester really have the finances for that anyway. Who wants to be Tech Fogged in anyway? Um, yeah, let's jump into the chat. Um, any update on Joe Perot? I haven't heard anything, no. Um, I believe the interest is still there, um, but nothing official um, if there's been any bids or, or anything. Um, so, but yeah, nothing on that front. Maybe Leicester will have to sell someone before we get him because I believe that may be a bit more of an expensive transfer to the likes of Callum Doyle and stuff. But um, yeah, um, yeah, I, I think the Perot one's definitely a, a definitely one to look at, but um, could, it could happen later on in the stream. Do you mind if I come to the stream? Potentially later. We will see. Um, yeah, apologies for the background noise. But yeah, let's have a look at Callum Doyle then, um, the Manchester City centre-back. Uh, if I can just find the tweet quickly. So yeah, this is the one here. This is from The Athletic, and I believe it is Rob Tanner, uh, or John Percy, one of the two. Um, so, yeah, this is reliable stuff. So, yeah, uh, Leicester are exploring a permanent deal for Manchester City defender Callum Doyle. The player is valued at between 7 and 10 million. So, um, yeah, as you can see from the picture, he was on loan at Coventry last year, also was on loan at Sunderland as well uh, the season before. So, yeah, this guy's had a few loans, but obviously currently is a Manchester City player. And as we know, the link between Enzo and Manchester City uh, could be vital with this transfer window, uh, transfer, sorry. So, yeah, um, he looks like a decent young centre-back. Obviously not that experienced, but we're looking at between seven and 10 million, which I don't know, it, it seems quite steep for someone uh, at his age. But then again, if you want to play, if you want to get your hands on a good young English centre-back, you may have to pay um, a decent amount for for the player. But yeah, we, we are going to go a bit more in-depth and have a look uh, at the article from The Athletic on on a cannon door because I believe this one could be a transfer which Leicester re really do try and pursue. He's only 19 years old. So, yeah, obviously that, that price tag is quite a lot, just like I said, but then again, he is, has got that English tax um, with it. So, yeah, Doyle is a product of the Manchester City Academy. And as I said, he spent the last two seasons on loan at Sunderland and commentary in the Championship. Uh, winning promotion with Sunderland, also going close to commentary last year. Uh, he made 46 appearances as well. So, yeah, this guy... Obviously, Coventry uh, did fairly well last year. Got to the playoffs final, of course, and lucky for them, uh, they obviously lost. But yeah, this guy was a key part of their side, and and I've seen a few Coventry fans being quite disappointed by the fact that Leicester may be able to sign him. Which obviously, for me, says that he's a good player. But then again, yeah, yeah, I've got that rivalry as well between the two sides. But um, yeah, uh, obviously. Um, it's, it's that Man City linked again. Enzo is, is going to know the player. Um, so it is an interesting one once again. And it's that fire balance of, you know, you, you've got the experience in Conor Cody and now it's the time for Leicester to try and invest in some young talent uh, in the likes of Callum Doyle. But once again, for me, this interest in centre-backs doesn't mean Leicester go with, with a back five next year or back three. I don't know. But yeah, we'll talk about the tactics a bit later because Enzo kind of gave us a bit of a slight idea 
on how we're going to play. And it's pretty much um, what we expected uh, with the passing style of football. But yeah, let's jump into the chat. Make sure to let me your thoughts on um, Callum Doyle. Would, would you guys take him? We're going to have a look at some of his stats in a minute. Uh, he's a very pro progressive centre back, good on the ball, which obviously can suit the Enzo style, uh, which be, which we believe is going to be implemented. So, um, <coughs> um, which teams which teams are you on about? Uh, I really hope we get wingers. Yeah, I think wingers is going to be the next priority. Um, it looks like Leicester trying to build the, build the foundations from the back and then try and progress through. But I think we are we we, we definitely need to add a bit more goals. Um, so far, just been there. Obviously, there is a long, long way to go. So I don't think there's anything to worry about right now. We've still got about a month till the season starts as well. So there's more than enough time to get some attacking talent into the squad. Uh, and if you can keep the likes of Harvey Barnes and stuff, um, you never know. So uh, yeah, there has been a lot of interest from uh, around around Man City. I think we're going to go on to that a little bit later. But yeah, let's have a look at some quick stats then from Callum Doyle because this one does. Slightly slight, slight excite me. It's only stats, but um, they do look quite promising. It does look like it would suit the system. Um, so this is um, compared compared to other centre backs. Uh, don't I won't go into too much, but um, yeah, I was going to say if you compare them to any of these defenders, but I don't know any of them. But um, yeah, pretty much this guy's very progressive on the ball. Um, as you can see, progressive passes fairly high, carries successful take ons. Um, is pretty decent as well. So. Um, Obviously, he ain't going to score many goals and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think this guy can very much suit the system which Leicester are going to go with. So, all in all, I think if you look at it just on this, it would be a good sign. But then again, there, there's a lot there, there, there's a lot more than just these stats. But, yeah, I think, you know, he's got experience in the Championship. Uh, but if, you know, if we can get it for about £8 million, let, let's say, I think it would be all right. Slightly steep, but <coughs> then again, just like I said, you do have to pay a premium and teams are going to know that Leicester do have a lot of money. And uh, But I think Man City would definitely be willing to let him go to us. Uh, obviously, on, on, on a powder, which is a bit interesting for them. But um, I think Callum Doyle, especially with, with the Enzo link, I think he would be very open to joining Leicester. Because obviously, commentary last year, so lo location-wise, it's good for him as well. So, all in all, I think the deal works out quite nicely. Um, for his sake, obviously, there's, there's, a still, there's, there's still a long way to go. Leicester haven't submitted any bid or anything, but um, as of right now, it's just um, interest on the player, but definitely one which I think Leicester will be uh, pursuing in the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, what well, one to keep an eye on, boys and girls. Uh, the name Callum Doyle, but um, yeah, I won't go on for it for too long because obviously it's just interest right now. Um, nothing more than that. <coughs> um, drink water, I wouldn't take no, uh, but yeah. Uh, he has come out and said that he wants to come back to us, which I don't really see. I don't. If Leicester did something like that, it'd be a crazy decision, really, because you know he's been awful since he's left Leicester. He's a good. He was a good player for us, obviously, but since he left us, he he did all right for Chelsea for about a few months. Scored scored, scored the odd goal now and again, and since then done absolutely nothing. So no, thank you. Uh, Linked FC is back. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you come. We have got two players in already. Agreed. Um, Percy, I don't want to drink water. Um, yeah, 100% agree with that one. Uh, do you think Winks is a good signing? Very good signing, yeah. Uh, per perfect signing, in my opinion. Tick ticks the boxes. Bit not, Nice bit of experience. Good good on the ball. Uh, for me, the, the business we've done so far is is um, is pretty pretty good, I'd say. Uh, I was going to say outstanding, but may, maybe not. Um, yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. But I, I think the signings of obviously Cody and Winks just offer a big statement to the rest of the championship as well that Leicester, you know, are here to mean business and here to get promoted first time around. But um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the Enzo uh, press conference. Obviously, I was going to talk about James Trafford. If you if you just joined us, uh, the James Trafford deal will not be going ahead for Leicester. He looks like he's off to Burnley for 19 million. So um, yeah, just ignore him on the thumbnail. That the news for that recently just came out. So um, yeah. Uh, I, d I don't really blame him for, for going to a Premier League side either, but um, obviously he's, he's impressed at the youth level for England right now. He's doing very well, so um, I think he's probably more than capable. I don't know if he'll start for Burnley or not, but um, I think Burnley have got new region goal or someone, so um, yeah, I don't blame James Trafford at all for that. Um, <coughs> um, uh, just want to pay a day. Uh, yeah. 
just like for fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't see anything more. Go, I can't see less pursuing that at all. Um, with Danny Drinkwater, but hey, yeah, you never know. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look then at the Enzo press conference. Obviously, Leicester returned back to first team training today while well, the majority of the first team squad and Enzo spoke to the press uh, for the first time at Seagrove today. So, yeah, let's have a little quick look. And what Enzo had to say, I've got a big thread to go through here if I can find the right one. So I'm going to skim over. It won't read for the old thing because we'd be, be a bit boring. But um, yeah, if you guys want to have a quick read of this, go on to the Fossil on Twitter. Uh, very good account. Basically where I get all my transfer stuff from. So um, yeah, he obviously talks a bit. He got, he got asked questions about transfers. As you would expect, he wouldn't go into it in, in any detail apart from the players who the Leicester have obviously signed. Um, the market's obviously open. Talk Talks about the fact that we need to so, uh, sell players, but then Brit, then bring in some players as well. Uh, obviously, learning from Man City and etc. But um, yeah, there's there's a few key bits. So let me just go down to this. I think this is one of the key parts. Um, so yeah, a, a, a bit of a style of play and, and and what we could expect. So as expected, he says to have the ball um, when when they were learning the game, they were, they were looking for a ball to play with. So we will try to have the ball as much as possible. They enjoy ha having the ball, not running after the opponent. We have to adapt. Leicester is different, and I think this is key as well. Leicester is different in the Championship to the Premier League. Every team wants to take points of us because we are Leicester, because we are one of the most important teams in the Championship. And obviously, that is quite similar to what happened at Man City. So, yeah, I've mentioned that quite a few times that teams are going to probably going to, you know, va value Leicester as a, a big club in the league, and it's going to be a team which teams are, are going to be looking forward to to come into the King Power are going to be really trying to get three points. Obviously, you, 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 you're you going to be trying to get three points in every game, but, but but for some of the smaller teams, a win against Leicester could be like us beating, I don't know, Man, Man City or, or, or Liverpool. So, but yeah, I think style-wise is as we expected. It was There was no chance in a million years that Enzo Moresco was going to come in and not play a, a passing style of, of football. And, and, and that's been confirmed by the two signings we've had already, and especially the links with Callum Doyle as well. So, um, all in all, as expected, really. Um, obviously, talks about the potential of Barnes departing. Didn't really talk about that, as he would say. Um, and, he, and he kind of focused on, on, he kind of went on to say about this process of things and going step by step uh, and not setting drastic targets. But obviously, the target is there to, to, to get promoted. But he focused on, on getting there. Is a bit, oh, yeah, right, there's a good bit here. Um, get, getting the players in, uh, the right players for the system. Uh, Get in the process of us getting promoted, and um, it's about building something for the next three, three or five years. Three or five years, and, and that, that's what I like. Obviously, it's important to try and get promoted first time around, but then again, you do need to plan for the future. And this is the beginning of a new cycle for Leicester, and uh, we need to make sure we can get it going in the first couple of years. So, if we can get back into the Premier League, we can try and sustain ourselves as a Premier League club once again, and and not be a yo-yo club like Norwich. So. Um, yeah, I'm liking the sound of it. The guy obviously has aura. Um, he's got a nice head on him as well. So literally, so um, yeah. Uh, all, all in all, he said positive stuff. Um, there's a good bit as well. Uh, if, if you want to compare him to a little Irish guy, um, there's a nice bit about him talk about uh, Leicester being a big club. Which obviously last year we had nothing about that whatsoever. So um, I think this is a bit here, isn't it? Uh, this might be it. I don't know. Um, Oh, no, this is the wrong one. But anyway, uh, yeah, he told me about, he said about adapting to the championship, which is obviously key. We all know that. Uh, let me just try and find the right one because he said I'm not, he said it was a quite a good quote from what he said earlier on. Should have had this prepared for the start, but hey, we never do it. Um, yeah, this is kind of what I said earlier, but basically he's obviously big in Leicester up, saying that we are a big and important team in the championship, which I think is good to see. He's bigging the players up. Um, and it's, it's, what, it's what we want to see, you know, with, with Brendan, obviously Leicester were the biggest club in the Premier League, but, you know, he's making out that we were rubbish and he's obviously put, he's putting the players down, which doesn't do good for confidence. And, you know, I think, I think saying this from, from the get go just installs that mentality and that um, self-belief in a sense around the club. And I think the players need, need, need to go realise that as well. And I think last year, some of them were, a bit, you know, I think some of the players last year did think they were better. But, uh, right, let's try again. I think some of the players last year thought they were better than they actually were. But then again, I think this year, if you, you know, if we keep the vast majority of, of the squad we have right now, most of them are going to be better than most of the players we come up against. And that's facts. So, um, 
yeah, it's all about installing that positive and, you know, HMS Piss the League, here we go. Um, <coughs> yeah, let's jump back into chat. Have you heard Natchez into Forest? Yeah, there was something on that, but the thing which, um, obviously, I think the thing which makes it less concerning for me is that it's not really from a, a big source. We haven't heard of Fabrizio Romano or anyone key. It's just been more independent journalists. So it's concerning, but I don't think it's, that that concerning right now, but I think there's definitely interest there from Forest. So, let's um, see any update for uh, for Perot? Nothing really, no. Uh, I feel like Enzo wear casual clothes rather than team match or suit for games. I hope he doesn't find it a bit arrogant out there, does it? Yeah, I, I, I don't really care to be fair. He, he, he's going to look better than Brendan anyway, isn't he? <laughs> with stupid tracksuit anyway. Um, no in between. Yeah, I don't, I don't, as long as you know, I, I, I don't give two shits what, what Enzo wears, to be fair. Really don't care. Um, yeah. <clears throat> he seems he seems to be quite quite a relaxed manager. Uh, obviously, he, he's a, he, he's Italian, so he, he might he might have that Italian drip as well. So, yeah. Um, fake, uh, don't worry, it's fake news. Actually, he's going to Forest. Hello, mate. Welcome to the stream. I thought I'd shout your name. Sports, no way he did that. <laughs> I, have, I have got the shirt right here, boys, but I'm saving it for um, a cheeky unboxing video in the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Um, 63 quid down the drain. Um, I don't like it, but you see him pulling Esther. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, Enzo's got aura, he has got the aura, boys and girls. But um, uh, yeah, I think we've basically covered most things already tonight in about 17 minutes, which is. We obviously usually go for about half an hour. But um yeah, if you guys have got any other talking points, feel free, um feel free to let me know in the chat because obviously there's, there's, there's been that Cam Doyle thing. I was planning to talk about James uh, Trafford, but obviously that hasn't materialised and he's off to he's off to the Clarets in, in, in the Premier League. But um I think yeah, obviously soon she was uh, came out and said he's he's leaving today, which we all knew anyway. So there's no really point talking about that one. But yeah, a nice message from from Kags, um, a lot better than some others. Uh, we won't speak about that one. But um, obviously soon she got mistreated by by Brendan and stuff. It didn't really work out in the last couple of years as well. Did he actually? <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. It, 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 if you do. Um, I'll give you a tenner a game, all right? I'll buy you a pint. Or I can sign it. Ooh, but um, if you have that, that is um, a waste of money. But fair enough. Um, I go into the King Power against Cough. I will be there. Yep, I will be there. I'll I'll be at pretty much every home game. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then most away games as well. So, pretty much trying to try and do at least 80% eight, of the games this year. That that's might be a bit much actually, maybe seventy percent depends on depend on on the bank and union stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to go to as many games as possible. Um, obviously, it depends how how we do with tickets and stuff. If we if we're playing badly, I, I'll I'll be able to get tickets for every away game. But you know, if we start doing well, and it looks like we are gonna go and go, go, gonna win the league, all the plastics will come back out. And oh, I want to go to these away games. The the, uh, the Aston Villa and Forest awake for who only venture up to them. I don't know. I don't know how they get tickets for them anyway. But anyway, but yeah, uh, we'll have to see about um, ticket prices and stuff. I think they'll they'll be coming out in the next few games for for you little members out there. Def, definitely was well, they definitely weren't a member last year or anything. But um, yeah, just put water down my face as well. But um, <clears throat> I think with ticket prices, it's um. I, I think I think they'll probably be reduced a little bit next year, but I don't know because obviously season tickets were frozen, so I can't see it being much reduced either. But um, hopefully we can have some news on the UA tickets for Huddersfield and Burton, and I can try and try and secure them. <coughs> Jesus, <coughs> try and make some nice vlogs, eh? Hundred points in comment. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I think I, I think I think the way it's going. Um, I don't want to sound arrogant, but if Leicester can continue to make these calibre of signings and Cody and Winks, you know, we are we, we, we should be favourites to go back up. But obviously the championship is is a difficult team, a, a league. I don't think we'll get hundred points, but you know, if Leicester can keep this type of business up and, you know, keep on of the vast majority of the squad, there's no reason, there's no excuse as why Leicester cannot bare, bare minimum get playoffs. Bare minimum. Um 
so yeah let's jump into the chat uh i hope away tickets aren't too bad yeah I, it's difficult really because last year was very easy to get them but um i think it all depends really on how leicester are doing um to be fair go northampton love that mate i would have but i'm not i'm on my way so um I think for that, so for Northampton, we've got three stands out for. It's pretty much a home game, isn't it? Uh, need to get my better ticket, but we an adult. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I that's that's what I had to do last year for loads of games. It's an absolute nightmare. But fingers crossed they can get rid of the ID thing as well. <coughs> and obviously away games um, this year aren't capped, so we I think Sheffield Wednesday is like forty quid or something stupid, but. Um, Where's Tet? Yeah, where? Yeah, Tet Genius. Where's he at? Uh, have you got any? Have you got any updates on on um Titi? <laughs> but um, yeah, let's have a quick look at Twitter just to see if there's anything, anything come come out. I doubt it, but um, yeah, I'll probably head off in a couple of minutes, boys, because we've pretty much uh, gone for anything. But yeah, let me know in the chat if someone's Leicester Forever's done. Uh, which, which, which way games do you guys? Um, I'm going to try and go to this year. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, I'm off to Watford, QPR, Millwall, Cardiff. If I live in London, yeah, that's not, I, I think Cardiff's a decent away day. Quick trip to Wales, um, Millwall, QPR. I think, oh yeah, Q, QPR's going to be a good one as well. Um, it's genius. I don't know. I don't know. Say. Big up to him anyway. He's he, he might be in it, um, <clears throat> but big up to to Tete fan. There you wanna. Um, you 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 got you you love this guy, don't don't you? Bor Borges, um, genius. I, I I can't remember actually. It's, it's something like that, isn't it? Um, it's probably in it. It's someone like I didn't yeah. He's, 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 probably, he's probably waiting for Tete to 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 return. Uh, Tete fan, yeah, I'm not going to try and say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, boys and girls, I think that's probably where we're going to wrap things up tonight. Um, obviously, nothing major, but um, are they buying Tete or no? Tete's done, mate. There's no chance of them million years he's going to stay. Um, I believe he's back to Shakhtar, then, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I don't know what Leon are doing, but, um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, is it? Oh, I've been saying it wrong for years. God. Pronounce Yalas. I've never even seen that name before, anyway. I'll take your word for it. Uh, Johnny Simphafon, yeah. That's mad, actually. I've been saying it wrong for years, man. Yalas has been in there for for um, for years, man. Cody's the goat. Years, bro. Years. Uh like the MBA, oh, mate. I don't know nothing. I don't know, I know nothing about MBA. Absolutely nothing. Uh, ah, same, mate. It's annoying, isn't it? Um, and mine got um. Yannick. I see. I'm still saying it wrong. I'm so bad with names, man. Yeah, Yanis. I say Yanis. I said Yanis before. I don't know. My my Brazil flag got taken away at Old Trafford. I was fuming. Ten quid, and it only went on the train half the way. Joke. Um, uh, what's the tactics of formation this year? Tactics uh, is pretty much just playing, just playing ball really. Um, lots of possession. I'm not sure on the formation, but um, yeah, it's it's going to be similar to Man City, not um, to that extent, obviously with uh, inverted with centre backs or, or or whatever, but uh, full backs. Sorry, but um, yeah, it's pretty much just going to be possession based. So yeah, um, you see Vardy's cap. It says goat. He's the goat, mate. He he knows. He knows. <coughs> he knows. Um, can't wait for Vardy to be back at the Hawthorns as well. Whenever we play them, I think it's December. So yeah, boys, <coughs> it is all looking good. But I think signing wise, um, we'll, we'll, we'll probably get a few rumours within the next couple of days. We'll see what happens on on the goalkeeper front as well. Just like I said earlier. I think with this interest in so many goalkeepers, for me, it looks like we are going to be um, get we are going to be getting a, a new goalkeeper in. So, be interesting to see if we go back in for Zach Steffen or I don't know. I don't say go back in, but um, I think the interest has been quite long-standing so far. The window, so we will have to see. Um, it would be three five two or four three three. Yeah, I think it's good to be quite adaptable, especially in in the, in, in this division. Um, 
with the amount of games, obviously, you, you will have to be playing as well. So, yeah, I think as long as if Leicester can get good squad depth in there, I think we'll be fine. Um, something with Stefan, I don't know. Um, just just to wait a game on that front. Uh, Smith, he's in second choice. I think we do need the keeper. Obviously, Ward is still technically here, but um, I don't think he'll probably. I think he'll be going. Uh, I imagine Iverson will probably stay. But then again, if Iverson isn't going to be the number one, he's more than capable of starting for another championship team. So he may go. So um, we we'll have to see on the goalkeeper one. But if we are going to get a new goalkeeper, in, can we get it done? Uh, like uh, in the next couple of weeks. Not like five days before the season starts because it just doesn't help, does it? Um, <coughs> who's going to leave this year? I saw Sunshu and I had to spell that. Um, yeah, Sunshu, obviously, uh, all the players out of contracts. Um, I've obviously gone like Tillemans, we know Madison's gone. Uh, we've got lots of Mendy, Amarty. Um, looks like Evans may be going as well. Um, so you've got, you've got all of them a lot. Um, we, we could be looking at lots of Castagna, Dennis Pratt. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Potentially Root Faz as well. Um, Ian Atcher has also been linked away. Potentially one of Ian Atcher or Daka Ward potentially. Um, so yeah, quite quite a few. But um, I, I I still think we'll probably sell maybe another four or five players potentially. Looking like Sir Dennis Pratt. Because uh, Dan is definitely going to go. Uh, Barnes, yes, I've got about him. Yeah, Barnes as well. Um, I release Ward. <laughs> Don't blame you. Uh, uh, Iverson is a class shot stopper. Just worse. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, per Perez out of contract as well. Uh, do you think? Do you think he'll stay? Uh, I think he'll go. To be, I, th I think he'll want to go, but I don't think there'll be many clubs wanting him. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think with with with, with Wu, you've, you've, you you yeah you you have got a good player in there, but it's just about getting that on a on a. Um, Got the word uh, on a uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, consistent, Jesus. Um, but yeah, obviously got lots of suitor in there as well. I just think with Faze, obviously started off very well for us and then just fell off an absolute cliff, especially after that Liverpool game, which we all remember. But um, yeah, it, obviously he only just joined us, so he may he may not go. But I think personally he will want to go. But um, depends, obviously, if anyone does want it, uh, which is the important thing. What do I think of Harry Winks? Fantastic signing. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how he can do. I think there's a very good player in there. Cheeky. Um, hope Sut I think Sutar will, will do quite well. Um, he's decent on, on the ball, obviously. good. He's good in the air, defensively. Um, uh, Sutar's class and needs to keep him happy too. Yeah, I, I think he's happy enough here. Um, I think a, a full season in, in the Championship will, will do him good. Um, he's still pretty young, isn't he? Uh, Faz was good from August to December, then just stopped performing. He had a good patch in Dean Smith's first two games. Yeah, I think with Wu, of, I, I don't know if I, I think I say his name wrong as well, but anyway. Um, I, I think with him, it's just a case of getting the consistent consistency and I think in in the championship where you're going to play more games it's a bit more easy to do that and, it, and if he can have a good start to the season if he does stay I think he'll be fine but uh, just a case of keeping that going uh, still got best to guard boys uh, we need uh, tall like Cody and Suter uh, I think centre back wise but we're, we are fine um, I think we obviously with Cody if we can get Carl Doyle in I think we're fine really because we've got Obviously, Sutar, uh, Wu Tovel, or whatever his name is. Um, uh, Callum Doyle, potentially, as, as I said, he got Sutar. Uh, I think centre back wise, there, there is a lot of depth in there as well. So I just think that the next uh, the next targets will need to be in attacking positions. Bertrand is on. Um, Bertrand is gone, I think. I think he's a free agent. Uh, yeah. Oh, he ran <laughs> good one, bro. Come on. Um, yeah, of course, mate. Uh, you see, best of in training. Yeah, he is back. Uh, I would say he's back. He's still he's been there for a while, hasn't he? But um, I say four four two, Cody. Yeah, solid. Uh, best of God always looks mad. Uh, is Cody H and Winks potentially be in midfield together as well? But could could this be the redemption arc of Yannick Vestergaard? You never know. Never know. But there's a good player in there, but I think that high line on, on Lorenzo Moresco may, may be a bit dodgy, but um, he's still got depth in there. <laughs> you never know. This is, cra this is a crazy opinion, but there is there's still a player in there, boys. Still a player in there. That's what I'm going to say, but yeah. 
I'm not saying I want him to be starting, but what I'm saying is if it comes to it, let, let, let's give Big Yannick a go. That 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 game against Man City when he, his first appearance, he was flipping unbelievable, wasn't he? Um, exactly, mate. The league's going to be shivering. Um, goalkeeper Arvison, uh, right back me, centre back John Terry's coming back in there. Uh, <coughs> but well, I rate that. That's a nice, that's a nice balanced team. Um, you so you say selling, but who's going to want Vestergaard? You know what I mean. He hasn't hasn't played for years, has he? But so, someone may 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 want him. But um, uh, yeah, I think I think I think the likes of Vestergaard. Then um, if, if he does leave, it's going to be quite late on in the window because I don't think anyone in July is going to be going out there and going, yeah, let's sign Yannick Vestergaard from Leicester. But um, I think Max, I don't I don't even know what his contract even is, but um, it won't be much with it. Um, Best God's a striker. To be fair, he, he, I think he scored the other goal for Southampton, didn't he? Um, for uh, he's been in, he's been in there for the years. To be fair, he's usually in the chat now, now, now and again. The Tete boy. Um, Best God and Suter would, would be good at the back if Best God. <laughs> yeah, that's probably that's probably about right. But yeah, I think I think with Best God, it's, it's a bit of a sticky one, really. How how old is he? Because I don't, it's just he weren't even that bad for Sarah. He weren't great, but he weren't even that bad, was he? How old is he? Thirty. So you got he, he can probably still get moving, and maybe revive his career a little bit. But um, yeah, um, I think that I think he's done really, is he? Uh, we still need a uh, chair from QPR to replace Madison. We do need someone to replace James Madison. Yeah, I've seen quite a few people say, saying they want to play. Hamza, Winks, and and Dewsbrill, but I just don't really see the the um, the goal scoring output really. Dewsbrill and Winks may get the odd goal, but it's, it's not like a James Madison where he's going to be getting twenty go, go, twenty goals and assists really. So um, yeah, I think I think we definitely need 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 to focus on that area next. But I fully back Enzo to do so. Obviously, the p people were talking about Cole Palmer and stuff. That's not going to be happening. I think. I think he's off to Brighton or something, but I don't think um, we'll come down to the championship. Uh, I think Le there's another Man City guy going to Hulk. I can't remember. Is it? I think it's the lap or something, uh, but I don't think I don't really think it's that good anyway. But um, yeah, I think uh, the, the Count Dorgie is a could be the one uh, if we are going to be getting a couple of the Man City youngsters in and Rene's man Borges Borges the 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 wing. I see. I I I I've remembered that one, but. Um, yeah, boys, I think that is where we're going to wrap this up. Quick last quick look at Twitter, if there's anything. Uh, I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, yeah, nothing. Right. There we go, boys and girls. Thank you very much for staying with us tonight. It's been a bit of a, a longish stream, to be fair, considering we haven't had too much to talk about tonight. But, um, yeah, I may be back if, if there's anything groundbreaking to talk about tomorrow. But if not, I'll be back live on Wednesday. There'll, there'll be a kit unboxing uh or, or taking it out of the plastic bag in, in the next couple of days as well. Um, so make sure to go and watch that one. Uh, I'm, I, I was planning to do a video o over the weekend as well, but I didn't have the time to do so. So that will come next weekend, um, a, a little new series, which I'm planning to do. And um, yeah, just just a waiting game, really. Obviously, it's a little bit flat now after we've obviously got Cody and Winks in, but now we're back in training. I think Enzo can identify which plays he wants which players you don't want um, and can get a, a better picture of the squad and the depth uh, for the new season. But yeah, thanks for coming, boys. Massey appreciated. Make sure to go and drop a like just before you head off. Massey helps the channel out, uh, get new people in the in, in the chat, which is always good to see. And um, yeah, boys, I'll see you boys in the next one. Stay safe and up the last time.